Yeah, successful result with the boys travelling to T.O. Stadium and they didn't disappoint. Their first time in Darwin, only played pracky matches till now. They pick up the four premiership points and consolidate their top two position on the AFL ladder. Benny Roberts, welcome to the review. It was a very strange game, obviously. The AFL feeling the loss of Phil Walsh, or certainly all the clubs that had affiliation with him. Putting that aside, how did you see the game? Well, it wasn't a great game to watch, I don't think, but it took... Three quarters, certainly, at least, for the Eagles to, to break Melbourne, as Jack Darling said after the game. So, in the end, I think the scoreboard probably flattered uh, West Coast a little bit in terms of how close Melbourne were. But uh, in the end, look, a good win, 10-3, and three, going well. It did seem a little scrappy early, even the due coming into effect after half-time, it seemed. Jack Darling obviously returning to some of that form that we know. What a handy inclusion to just pick this bloke up, throw him back into the side. He had five goals. 10 grabs and a couple of goal assists too, if you don't mind. Yep, he's real, what a handy inclusion to be able to throw in halfway point. He'll be fresh for the whole year. Uh, he'll be attacking the goals. He looked on right from the start, and that's a really good sign. He was jumping for his marks. He was throwing candy left, right and centre. Looked like one from the under nines. Yeah, I was that one. How, right. how much candy was it? Turn back the clock at the candy shop. But uh, no, great effort from Jack. Five goals, good return. The very, very dangerous forward line. Brad Shepard probably hasn't got enough kudos on this program. He's playing undersized back there at every opportunity. The amount of times he's having to fly over packs and go second up man spoiling. They're against Ruckman and key forwards doing a very successful job, B Shepard. Very good job. Uh, two weeks ago against uh, Richmond, he took on Revolt. Did a really good job there. He went to Hogan at times uh, for a lot of the night on the weekend. Did another really good job. As we know, the defence is working together really well. And he's one of those guys that's just elevated his game. So well done, Shep. Wellingham also very much suited to his new role in defence. Very smooth, great decision maker back there. I think that's been a masterstroke. Very odd collision he had in the first almost minute of the game mm. where he's taken out Brayshaw. What did you make of that? It obviously hurt the D's rotations going forward. It certainly did. I mean, uh, it looked like... Shaz just didn't see him. Right. It's one of those things where you're just running along and then all of a sudden there's a bloke in front of you and you just sort of jump up to get the ball over the top and unfortunately it clocked him in the wrong spot. But uh, hopefully Brayshaw's okay going forward, but uh, certainly would have affected their rotations. Pritt has obviously copped a whack into the third quarter at the end of it. He's just oozing blood off the field. It's like something out of Rocky Nine. <laughs> but good that he came back on the ground, Ben. Yeah, tough, tough. Don't let those gold locks fool you. This man is tough. Loves it in tight and in close. Uh, he actually went up to Luke Shuey and asked him, uh, excuse me, mate, is my uh, mouth bleeding? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit, mate. Take my word for it. Run off and get it sorted. Mate. I think this picture from AFL Photo sums it up. It looks like he's just been caught off the back of Bunga's boat and she, uh, shipped ashore. <laughs> We want to go to our special mentions. The midfield were in great form. Dom Sheed, probably one of his best games for the club. We continue to say that, so the improvements there. Rising star? Yeah, I reckon he's not too far away. It's got to be said. Really enjoyed his goal. Still too. eligible. Ten he, games he last is, year. He is, he is. Get around that. Maybe hashtag it. Andrew Gaff collecting another 20, high 20 disposals on fire. Yeah, just disappointing he didn't get 30. Uh, yeah. For the first time in a long time. Just short. But Marston and Luke Shuey, they were good as well. Have a look at the disposals of these two. Marston's two here are actually absolutely sublime back to back and Luke Shuey's just taking the mickey going left foot passes now as well this is one reason why the boys efficiency have been red hot in 2015. Absolutely when Simo started at the end of 2013 the Eagles ranked 13th for kicking efficiency right now as we sit here right now at the end of round 14 the Eagles are number one in the comp oh. by foot so a tremendous effort from everyone at the club uh, they're going really well and geez when you've got a forward line like that and you start using it well you're going to keep big scores. Nick Nananua, you want to touch on him? I do. Uh, you're talking about some finesse and some short hit-ups. How about this one? Just throws the big leg at it and whack. Channels his inner Benny Graham and off it goes. That's a 70-metre torpedo, my friend. I want to see more of it from you, Nick Nat. It's time for our roast, roasts of the round. There's plenty. Roast, plural. Let's plural that up. We're going to start with Big Maxi Gorn. Arguably, Melbourne's best player was Nathan Jones on the night, but he's just decided to throw a UFC knee to the head there. Nick Nat's jumping twice as high, not doing it, so I think it's avoidable. What about you? Okay, well, what about this? Cue the Benny Hill music. A uh, couple of Ds just getting in each other's way and spoiling each, each other's ball. Not good to watch. Yeah, they needed that in the Ford 52. Mark Lacroix, he'll feature in this very rarely. Probably one of the most skillful on the Eagles' side. Dropping chess marks. You'll never see it again, so we've got to mention it here. 
Also, the fresh air shot didn't miss our eye on the goal square. Like, I won't be happy with that. How about uh, Cripper nearly going bare bummed in this one? There's no uh, nearly about it, mate. You've got an absolute eyeful there. I've got to mention the Falcons. We love them here. This handball from Viney, a little bit too hot for his Melbourne teammate, but the winner. Let's go all the way down to Sam Butler. Again, one of the most skillful on the team. But and a good friend of the review. Yeah, he does love the review. Weekly Watcher, what about this one? I don't know what's happened here. He's not looking after the TO Stadium surface here. The absolute pitching wedge taking the chunk out and the kick's gone all of half a foot. What happened? Turn around goal? Goal. Yeah. And, but do you know what also I didn't think was a... Well, Sam, I think you can take a leaf out of JK's book a couple of weeks ago. Took out a big divot, but replaced his divots. We touched on that. <laughs> Sam, no such uh, replacement happening here. He's just walked off. He's thrown the club. So, uh, <laughs> come on, Sam. We need to look after our ovals. Very good from you. And we'll join you next Monday on The Review. Thanks for watching.